Hey, welcome to a brand new episode of Trail Show Podcast. I am your host, Calvin. Joined by my lovely host, Christina and Brandon. How are you guys doing today? I'm good. It's all good. All good here. Yes. And Lee's out today, but have no fear. Because once again, Lee's presence is always with us, whether he's here or not. Because uh, he has produced today's show. And on today's show, one of your favorites that you have told us that you love is our epic tournament show and we cannot have this show without the one and only our guest today filling in for lee mr c j johnson cj charles thank you so much for coming on our show today i appreciate it man i appreciate y'all uh having me once again uh you'll have to you know forgive me for uh having the the deep voice today, you know, it's allergy season and the allergies are allergying right now. So, uh, but we're going to power through this thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, simple as that. Yeah. The allergies ready are, to roll, are, ready are to roll. populating. Yeah. It's populating. Yeah. He oh. has his, uh, he has his Barry White, uh, his, uh, uh, Kev, what's his name? Uh, Keith Sweat. What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Oh, baby. <laughs> All the people are having sex and we're just floating in the mist. Just floating in the right. mist, yeah. So, uh, and just kind of give a quick shout out to you and Christina. Uh, happy belated birthday to the both of you. So, uh, shout out. Y'all had, y'all's birthday were a day apart. So it's kind of crazy. Like, every season. Uh, I don't know what that means, but okay. It's all about Virgo. So, uh, haters, that man. Man. <laughs> These haters. Y'all all about know, Virgo, man. Choose your words carefully. What? Okay. That's all about Virgos. Is that the right, Brandon? So anyway, uh, <laughs> with that being <laughs> said, if I don't know any about my friends, I know that me and Brandon are both Virgos. That's, that's all that matters, man. That's all that matters. That's all that matters? That's okay. So how crazy is it today that we have two Aries and two Virgos in a competition type episode, which I already talked about. We have a competition episode, a tournament episode that you all have said that you love so much. Today, it is a brand new season. So we had to bring it back again. So we want to know, Lee and I talked, so we wanted to something about cartoons and TV shows. So uh, one of the epic cartoon networks, well, case in point was Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. So they has some of the most groundbreaking shows that we've seen. And we say, you know what? Let's see who had the better shows. And so uh, this is going to be kind of like a part two, because next we're going to do Warner Brothers WB versus Fox in their cartoons and their shows. So uh, be on the lookout for that coming up pretty soon. But for right now, today, we're going to focus on Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon. And we want to know who had the better shows. And so that's what we're going to do today. And if you're watching right now or you're listening right now uh, on our social media platforms on Facebook, please let us know right now. Tell us your favorite episodes or your favorite shows on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or both. But uh, make sure you tune in. Let us know. Comment below. And Brandon or Christina will read them live on air as we go throughout the show. So if you're familiar with our show, these tournament episodes are pretty epic. Uh, last season, Christina did one with about Thanksgiving and she came in very just calm. And by the end of the show, Christina's face was very just distraught. She looked stressed out. She didn't know what she was getting herself into. And we tried to warn her, Brandon and I tried to warn her, but she did not know what she was going through. Uh, but at the end of it, she she came out. She regretted some of her decisions. And the last time, Brandon actually behaved. So I'm happy about that. Now, I can't say Brandon will behave this episode because CJ is here. Uh, but CJ and Brandon, they had a little thing going on. But last season, we had the Thanksgiving tournament. Christina called out Mr. CJ himself. And today, it's either boot up or shut up. CJ, what do you have to say about Christina calling you out on the Thanksgiving episode? Mm-hmm. See, um, all I can say is this, okay? Yeah, call me out, okay? All right? Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all the story right quick. Yeah, called me out, Christina. I did. Okay, all right, okay? Yeah, you, 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 put, you put my word, you put my name, 
<laughs> in, my, in your mouth. Okay. All right. And saying. and what what happened? What what happened was you told me to pull up. Okay. And I pulled up last week. But guess who didn't show up, people? Guess who didn't show up? Hey, that wasn't my fault. I was ready. Yeah. It was my birthday. Mm. It was my mm. birthday. And my family snatched me mm. up. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. We'll fix it. Take we'll that high. Take that high. Y'all I know will. You're gonna lose Straight this already. Universe. You had horrible picks on the serial episode, so this is you're not a competition at all today. Oh, I'm more worried oh, about oh, Brandon. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Wow. Okay. All right. This, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Wow. Good to have it in the other way. Wow. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. Wow. So that's the kind of energy we're having today on this episode Nickelodeon versus Cartoon Network. And I said, this show is produced by one and only Lee. He's not here today, but man, if you can hear the trash talking right now, that's the kind of things we're doing today. So uh, if you're new to our show, this is how the show goes. We have, it's a two out of three uh, victory. So we go about each one. We have, like, say, if uh, Rugrats versus uh, uh, regular show, uh, it has to be two to one, two to three, sorry, to move on to the next the next round. So uh, they each, each competitor has a wild card. What that wild card does is, say, if Rugrats is two for Rugrats, and then there's uh, one for wild thorn berries one person can use that wild card to automatically advance the one that lost to the next round automatically now the only one that could be stopped is if the, the person another person chooses the same wild card and they both have to use it at the same time and therefore i will throw a trick question and whoever gets it right their pick goes on and they both still lose their wild card okay so that's kind of how the show goes does that make sense to all our competitors today yeah i'm good all right so with that being said with that being said here we go all right guys we have nickelodeon versus cartoon network y'all are y'all ready for this let's do it all right so let's start it off right now and i got my pen ready and if you see me looking down i am hard at work right this down to make sure i'm keeping this up so we'll give the first pick to our guest today mr charles cj johnson our first competition, our first pick today, we have Dex's Laboratory versus Jimmy Neutron. CJ, who do you pick? Look, Jimmy Neutron was cool and all, um, right? Let's call it what it is. He's a <laughs> Dexter's Lab wannabe. He's an imposter, okay? All right, Dexter, pave these streets, okay? And don't, don't get me wrong, Jimmy walked them pretty good. But this is the land that Dexter made, Dexter's Laboratory. All right. CJ picks Dexter's Laboratory. Christina, who do you pick? I actually agree. All right. It's so, a little too dramatic for me, but mm-hmm. yes, I agree. All but, right. <laughs> you're a little bit extra, but it's okay. <laughs> and, you know, oh. you got to bring the energy with it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. How could I <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so it seems that Dexter's laboratory automatically advances unless brandon wants to use his uh wild card to send jimmy neutron to the next round brandon oh no uh-uh i'm gonna let it do for mars man oh yeah dexter, ah, De- yeah, dexter yeah. educated <laughs> us on french real early yeah, and then, like there's you, you barely want you probably learned a few things in Jimmy Neutron. J- Jimmy Neutron started off with the movie, you know, he got his props, but Dexter, no, this he wins this one. All right, and, All right. So. and, and, and just to kind of give it, Dexter automatically goes on with his queen sweep, but just to let you know right now, we have some picks already that have advanced to the next round already. So those shows are so big, they have to go into the next round automatically. So we'll deal with that. But moving forward right now, Dexter does uh, go ahead and advance to the next round with that, with a clean sweep. All right, up next, we start with Brandon. Brandon, uh, we have Teen Titans versus Avatar The Last Airbender, not the purple or the green people or whatever, or blue people. 
blue, blue. What in the world? We're already getting questions like this? Yes, T. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm glad he started with you. Wasn't ready. Ah, I wasn't ready. No. The spirit of Lee. Oh, Lee. The it spirit is of Lee, man. Lee. Okay, I'm gonna make a decision. I'm gonna have to go. Oh boy. Ah. Okay. Okay. One of these moments. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with uh I'm gonna have to go with I'm gonna have to go with Teen Titans. I'm gonna have to go with Teen Titans. All right, Brandon picks Teen Titans. CJ, who do you pick? Uh Brandon. I, uh look, man, that was hard. <laughs> man, you have no idea. Don't you I had to pick I just look. What you pick, man? Oh, yeah, Who's your pick? That choice. Are you confident <laughs> with that choice? I'm not. I'm really not. But hey, who you got? Well, you should be your because mine is Teen Titans. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, wow. Wow. Here's okay. the thing, man. Here's the thing. Like, I don't don't hate me. Don't hate me. But I actually didn't ever watch Avatar. But that being said, I still know like how like hell that series is. So so for me to know like how appreciated that series is and never watch a single episode, man, like that yeah, that that's crazy. But it's it's Teen Titans for me all day, man. All right. Christina, it's this Queen Sweep. Uh you can send uh Teen Titans all the way. It's up to you. Or do you want Avatar? Not the blue people, but Avatar. Who do you pick? I gotta go with Teen Titans, and I can explain why. Okay. I'm just attached to Teen Titans more. Avatar was one of the most creative and magnificent storylines ever <laughs> animated, in my opinion. I love it. But I was just some, something totally different, the vibe of Teen Titans, and not Teen Titans Go, but Teen Titans. And maybe it's because, you know, I was in the age, the appropriate age for it. Is you can't like Raven, Beast Boy. How do you? Yeah, yeah. there's a lot that goes into I, it. I mean, both shows. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it's, it, that that storyline on its own. I I gotta go to Teen Titans. That hurt. That hurt. I was not expecting that one. I was just like, but I knew immediately which one I was gonna pick. So I'm glad I didn't have to. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I went first. I gave y'all time. time. It so, gets worse. You're it gets it gets worse. Hey, right out the gate, fam. Right out the gate. It gets it gets, it gets worse. It gets me. way worse. Okay, so Lee. all right. So here we go. We got it once again. We're gonna have this taken. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Wow. Uh up next, uh, we'll start with Christina again. Christina, mm-hmm. uh, we'll start with Christina. Samurai Jack versus Danny Phantom. Oh, Samurai Jack. Danny Phantom was fun, but Samurai Jack was. No, I'm not even going to go into it. Just definitely Samurai Jack. Danny Phantom was borderline cringy. <laughs> yeah. It, it, was, it was okay, but it wasn't a good show. Mm-hmm. Like, so Samurai Jack. I can still hear the theme song, Samurai Jack. The the theme song to Danny Phantom was the best part of Danny Phantom. Ooh. All right, <laughs> CJ, what about you? Samurai Jack or Danny Phantom? Yeah, I actually agree with Christina 100%. Like, um, it's Samurai Jack all the way. Um, Danny Phantom was cool, but yeah. it it was one of those shows where, like, it was missing that certain it factor that would have took it over the top. So it was just a cool show. It was never, like, a standout to me. But Samurai Jack, come on, man. Right, so it seems that Samurai Jack has advanced. Unless Brandon wants to see uh, send Danny Phantom to the next round, use his wild card. Brandon, who do you pick? Danny Phantom, uh, not Danny Phantom. I mean, uh, the uh, Samurai Jack. Because okay. no, I was thinking, I was thinking about what I want to say. Danny Phantom, like CJ said, never really, and they probably did. You just don't remember. They never really pushed topics. Samurai mm-hmm. Jacks hit topics in like crazy, like kind of world-ending, uh, Armageddon ways. And I mean, 
Then Samurai Jack also got the awesome theme song, uh, which I'll, I'm not going to do it for you. I yeah. 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 No, I'm not going to do it for you. But you know hey, it. you got to. Yeah. People know it. It's just Danny Phantom is great. Still good. I watched it, but it didn't just hit like Samurai Jack. So. All right. So Samurai Jack automatically advanced. This is our third uh, sweep in a row. So we're going through this round pretty fast. Now, uh, Christina, we have a hard Well, Actually, it's going to be CJ first. We have a hard one. I think this may stump all of y'all. Uh, we have cow and chicken, CJ versus cat dog. Cow and chicken versus cat dog. CJ, what do you pick? Lee is a genius. Lee, yeah. Lee is a genius, man. Yeah, like the two duos. Oh, man, that's hard. That, that's surprisingly hard, man. Um, good God. Uh, you know what? I think I got to go with cow and chicken. Like, I was cool with cat dog. But I don't know, man. It was something about cow and chicken. Like it was like it it turned like the absurdity level up. Like it was almost Ren and Stimpy level absurdity with cow and chicken. Like cat dog was a little tame compared to the two. So that that's my pick. Right. So he said cow and chicken. So uh Brandon, cat dog versus cow and chicken. Man. Look, I'm just I'm saying cow and chicken right now because the jokes were just a little bit better. And nobody showed booty like cow and chicken. Nobody showed booty <laughs> like cow and chicken. Is that now, how you think cat, you know, cat dog is, is you know, they just yeah, they they just, you know, just cat dog, but nobody showed and had the jokes like cow and chicken and dude the parents right the fact that you just see their uh, the legs on there the, like the jokes you know what i mean and i am weasel came from there as well like i am weasel the yeah. fact that two humans created a, a, cow and <laughs> a crack show <laughs> all right so it seems that cow and chicken advances but christina let's see uh, not that your vote doesn't matter, but you can send Cat Dog to the next round if you use your wild card. Who do you pick? Well, I can respect the uh, odd couple aspect of Cat and Dog, and I enjoy it. There's just so much more to Cow and Chicken in my life. Like, Mama had a cow. Mama, I, I remember all the songs that they ever Oh, did. yeah. Real mm -hmm. Cat. They didn't know how. The Red Demon. <laughs> the ugliest weenie like i sing those <laughs> when they come across my mind i can still see it word for word like I just, Bro. the characters alone like i am weasel i are baboon everybody like cow and chicken all cow right and chicken all the way for me wow well, another sweep y'all wow memories. That, that is uh wow memories the fourth sweep in a row wow this is a lot hey it, it needs to be noted though Cat dog theme song though. Yes, that was bomb. That was but bomb. but but to 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 play fair, the they the, both their theme show. songs were. It was mostly cat that pulled no, that show. Both of them, both of them was good, but you know, cat mm. dog had that soul. You know, he had that wrath. You know, when he was singing. Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna do it because you know my throat already you know destroyed, but you <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I, I sing that song too. Cat singing, I love money. I love that song. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that one, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So that seems that Cow and Chicken goes automatically to the next round. So uh, up next, uh, we have, this is going to be, ooh, y'all ready for the next one? Y'all sure y'all can handle the next one? Well. All right. So the next one we have, uh, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be Ed, Ed, and Eddie versus Rugrats. CJ, who do you pick? You pick me first, man, because this ain't nothing for me. Rugrats. This is Rugrats for me, man. Bruh, bruh. Rugrats is one of Nick's starting five. Are you kidding me right now? Hey, that Nick. Come on, you know. Get jawbreakers. <laughs> All right, so it seems Rugrats. Brandon, who do you pick? Sorry. Man, I, we we I think we finally got a disagreement. It's Ed and Eddie for me, man. 
do like the 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 jokes yeah the jawbreakers man the things first of all i can watch ed 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 ed, ed and eddie right now and double d would still say crap i don't understand that's how smart he was like dude the, the show was hilarious and ed man the dude's this dumb and who can forget plank look in plank's face oh, and say you you will vote for rugrats <laughs> All right, Christina, here's the epic part about it. We have got down to our first tie of the tournament, uh, the first round. It's Ed, Ed, oh Eddie boy. versus Rugrats. Christina, you can I'm make this boy. pick. Who do you pick? Because I feel like this is one where I'd be like, okay, let me wait. <laughs> I'm like, I got to have this one broken down because they were both shows that had, there was always a scheme. <laughs> there was always a plan in both shows, which I loved. I Make loved it to the top. So I was like, okay, there's there's that. And then, of course, there's the group where, you know, it's... Oh, I wasn't ready for this one at all. I'm like, hold on. Like, <laughs> hold on. Like, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to get outside of my adult brain for a second and see which one would I have picked 17 years ago. <laughs> um, Jesus, I don't even know which one. I'm gonna go off of long, like off of. I'm gonna say longevity here, and say Ed, Ed and Eddie because I would sit and watch Ed, Ed and Eddie right now versus Red Ratch, which I have tried to do recently and i just while i adore rugrats and it has that nostalgic feeling to it you know you get real sentimental and you're like possibilities um rugrats don't age well ridiculous it it ain't okay but i i will let an ed ed and eddie marathon go and watch it rugrats i would cuddle myself to sleep to because i'd feel perfectly content with it but entertainment wise Edit for me. Wow. CJ, here's the, the moment of truth. You have one wild card. We have a lot of picks left. Do you want to send Rugrats to the next round using your wild card or you want to let it be? If not, Ed, Ed and Eddie wins this round. CJ, choice is yours. And I'm going to add y'all. this to you, though. I'm going to add this to you, CJ. If you saw a T-shirt right in front of you that had Ed and Nettie on it or Rugrats, which one would you pick up? Rugrats, easy. What kind of self-respecting man will wear a Rugrats oh, man. T-shirt? All right, <laughs> CJ. <laughs> CJ, we need we need we need your. Uh, you know what? Oh boy, I gotta make a decision. Look, look, look. Y'all despicable. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead. Let Rugrats get knocked off the board, but y'all know, y'all know, y'all wanted some of that Reptar cereal. Y'all know oh y'all. Oh my did. God, this cereal! Y'all know y'all did. Yeah. The cereal. You wanted the cereal. You picked. You wanted the lunchbox. You wanted the merch. You picked Ed and Eddie in the end because you knew <laughs> he was gonna just bump off Rugrats later on anyway, and you'd be forfeiting that whole little veto. So. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you have your little win right now, okay? All right. Okay. There'll be plenty of game left. Wow, we have so much going on, on with this so, one. So it's fine. We have so much going on with this. We got just a couple more for the next for this first round. Then we're gonna uh, to guys to a break. But so it seems that Ed, Ed, and Eddie uh, advances up next. Okay, so uh, Christina, we start with you first. We have another hard one right now. Uh, All right. We, we have Courage the Cowardly Dog. Mm versus invader zim who do you pick why the hell oh, that's you on you forget you lee forget you because i'm mm-hmm. obsessed with invader, invader zim uh, invader zim i couldn't even say it right but i was also obsessed with courage cowardly dog like they were both so creepy and dark compared to everything else that was playing on tv and while i quote Invader Zim to this day from anything Gur said and to Zim's way of saying tell me I say that to this day 
I am going to go with Courage the Cowardly Dog because the stories were always different. You know, it was always something different every episode. You know, the 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 villains, the characters. I gotta go with Courage. It was just insane. Courage was always like the superhero, but he was a terrified little dog, just trembling. His teeth would shoot out of his mouth. And it's just Muriel was a dunce. Eustace was just mean. I loved. I loved it all. The Cat's Motel, Dr. <laughs> Turn the Lab. All right. Well, it, all right. So it <laughs> seems that uh, Christina picks Courage. CJ, who do you pick? Yeah, it's Courage, man. It's Courage. It's, yeah, it's, it's as simple as that. Avengers was well, good. This was a really good battle. But um, I don't know, like, just for me personally, I think that Courage really stepped it up on the horror app. Like they really leaned into the horror, and horror is my favorite genre of, of movie. So yeah, instantly I was drawn in the courage. So yeah, man, that that's it right there. Yeah, easy win in my opinion. All right, all right, Brandon, so it's up to you. Is courage yeah. get a, a win? Okay, all right. Yeah, courage, man. The slab, the locust, the creepy uh, computer. Uh, I do. I I, I want to be like a. Used this when I when I grow up, man. I want to be an angry, <laughs> angry, angry old man. Me too. I want to be angry old man. Out in the boonies by yourself, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. I was like, what's the theme song? The theme song was great. Okay. Just... All right. So it seems that Courage the Cowardly Dog advances. Uh, so we go ahead and move along right now. We have another one. Brandon, you start off with this. Powerpuff Girls versus Fairly odd parents. Who do you pick? I'm gonna have to go with very odd parents because they hit more topics. I feel like, and I've been upset with Power Perfect Girls ever since that when they brought it back. So, okay, I'm All a little right. bit salty about that. Okay, all right, Sorry, Christina. Christina, <laughs> Christina right. got that look on her face. <laughs> all right, Christina. <laughs> so we have Power Puff Girls versus. Fairly Odd Parents, who do you pick? Pop Up Girls, because Fairly Odd Parents fell off a long time ago, too. If you watched any of their last 10 years of episodes. The Teen awful. Turner movie. Yeah. Awful. All awful. right. All of it's bad. Like, they keep bringing characters, taking characters. It just played out. So it's just not good. But Pop Up Girls, it's always going to be near and dear to me. I remember their very first episode that, that debuted on What a Cartoon with Meat Hair. Like, I was I was in love with Pop Up Girls, and I, I feel like this is a biased question. <laughs> so we have a so we have a tie right now, CJ. <laughs> Powerpuff Girls, Fairly Odd Parents. Who do you pick? Boy, we got we got Timmy 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 Turner versus Mojo Jojo. Bro, where where do you go? You know that song is not that, that, that that's not a really good song, by the way. Where you go? You can't no, sing that song on the show, it, CJ. It, that's not a, it, not, a, not, a it, not, not a not a good song to sing on the show. It, it wasn't good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just, just like it was just it was just the name, okay? Just the name <laughs> purposes, people, okay? But it's hard because like they're two completely different genres. You got comedy versus action, so it's really what you know genre you was in. It's Powerpuff Girls. Come on, let's stop this. Let's stop this right now. It is Powerpuff Girls. This is one of the starting five of Cartoon Network. Let's not play. Let's not play. Brandon, look, love you. We got to get him out of there. I don't see Timmy Turner on the t-shirt right now. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't. Don't know if I don't want him. Yeah. All right. So unless Brandon, uh, unless Brandon uh, wants to pick Bailey Odd Parents with his wild card, it seems that. Uh, Powerpuff Girls is going to the next round, Brandon. No, it's not that important. It's okay. fine. Right. <laughs> no dig at Timmy Turner, but if you know the song, you see why people don't like Timmy Turner. But anyway, uh, Throw him in the fire. The, oh, that's a bad song. Uh, so, rounding out this last pick of this round, uh, we have a classic. Uh, this might be kind of hard because both of these are pretty raunchy. We have Space Goes Coast to Coast, CJ. And Rocco's Modern Life. Who do you pick? Just to be clear, this is Space Ghost Coast to Coast, not the actual Space Ghost 
cartoon because you know he had his own separate. Yeah, yeah. Space you know, Ghost Coast to Coast. Hero. Yes. Uh, oh. You Lee, oh you de- let me put my fry down. Okay, okay. I gotta think. I gotta think. Oh boy. All right, both of them was great. All right, Space Ghost. Man, oh man, it's a bit. Oh, I'm riding down Highway 40, bro. Oh, okay. I'm going with Rocco, man. I'm going with Rocco, bro. Oh, like the very first, bro, bro. They had a character named Heifer. They allowed you as a <laughs> to say Heifer. They gave you a legitimate reason to say that. Come on, man. I, if that ain't genius, I don't know what it is, man. Come on. And that very first intro theme, intro theme was... <laughs> Come on, man. That's that my was my deadline. No, no, that was the second one. That was the second one. The first one. Look that up, bro. That, oh, man. That thing was nice. All right. Christina, Rocco's Modern Life or Space Goes Coast to Coast? Rocco is just so quotable. Like you, you have so many memories from Rocco, and and of course there's Heifer, and there's Mr. Big Heads, Big Heads, and I'm like, it was amazing. But if you watch Space Ghost Coast to Coast, that was the clever one, that was the funny one, and there's so many quotable moments. But you had to have watched it, you had to have been able to stay up late enough to see it. And you had to understand the jokes, but there's a lot of songs. There's a lot of puns and jabs from Zorak. He easily was my favorite thing. Space Ghost was petty as hell. <laughs> like he was constantly blowing people up, and just they had celebrity guests. Like Space Ghost wins all the all the way. Like if I could, I would make the Zorak blink noise right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I can't so be mad at that. So, Brandon, we have a way to end this round, and it ends in a split. You have the decision to send Space Ghost or Rocco's Modern Life to the next round. Brandon, the choice is yours. Who do you pick? Make a good choice, Brandon. Well, choice, I'm, Brandon. I'm, follow, I'm following behind Christina here. Mm-hmm. Just to say, I, I everything she said was true. But because you had to stay up, and you had to be able to watch it or watch it. I watched it. I'm going to say Rocco's. Because in this game, we're talking about best cartoon. And in this way, I did kind of watch Rocco's uh, more. So Okay. All right. Well, it seems that Rocco's Modern Life ends to go to the next round. Unless Christina wants to use her wild card. Christina, are you going to use it right now or no? No. Okay. okay. All right. So with that being said, Rocco's modern Bro, life. Uh, Rocco's <laughs> modern life uh, ends us for this first round. Uh, just to clarify, this is the best show, not cartoon, best shows on these networks. So uh, we're going to have more of the Nickelodeon versus Cartoon Network show, best show tournament. On the other side of the break, make sure you stay tuned to the Straight Up Show podcast. The videos and images displayed all across the world cannot fully express what the people of Ukraine are going through. This senseless act of terrorism has cost many of their lives and forced millions of Ukrainians out of their homes. Yet it's the Ukrainians' pride and resiliency that has inspired the entire world. So we here at Straight Up ask you to stand for freedom, stand for human rights, but most importantly, join us as we stand with Ukraine. Hey everybody, Lee here, and guess what? The reviews are in, and the Straight Up Show podcast is a hit. Don't believe me? Well, listen to what one of our guest panelists, Dr. Monique Thompson, has to say. Listen, y'all listening to Straight Up and support this podcast, because I listened in before I came on the show. I liked what I heard. They're really focusing on keeping things real and being real with you, and I like that approach. So you guys support this podcast. So if you want to listen... Donate to the show, have a subject idea, or even want to be a guest, just contact us at straightupshow at gmail.com. That's straightupshow at gmail.com.
All right, hey, hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Show Podcast. This is our tournament episode, Nickelodeon versus Cartoon Network. Who had the better show uh, on these networks? And if you've been listening, we've had some dramatic picks, uh, some sacrifices made of some people who like these shows. But we're finding out whose show is committed who's committed to these shows and what show holds value to our competitors. As today, we have Brandon and Christina, our two co-hosts, at least not today, but he did produce this episode. And we have our tournament expert, our favorite guests on the show, one of our favorite guests on the show, Mr. Charles C.J. Johnson. Thank you so much for coming on our show, uh, sir. And already, Christina already has given me the stressed out face. I know that we're doing something good, so... Uh, <laughs> she got she was stressed it. out man she was no she's she's mad she's upset with me because i had, had a account. y'all had a pack and you broke the pack had to get space go out of there bro brandon happened man so just, just, just trying to be just trying to be strategic, be strategic <laughs> here uh-huh. well see y'all have it. loyalty on these shows and so there's no loyalty in this game at all so uh, but the most important thing we like to do in our <laughs> tournament episodes is that uh we want to push the fact that you have to vote because if you don't vote your voice is not heard so with that being said here we go you all ready for the next round yeah and keep in mind this is all for the shows not cartoons necessarily these are the shows on the networks okay so with that being said we start off the second round because a lot of these uh, shows were automatically pushed to the next round because of their popularity. Okay. Uh, with that being said, we have the starting off for Christina. We have Dex's Laboratory versus All That. I'm going to go with All That for obvious reasons. Theme song? <laughs> it, was, it was All That. <laughs> I mean, of course, All That wasn't a cartoon. But I love comedy. I love stand-up comedy. I love improv comedy. And that was everything and all that. And plus, you have some of like the, the people who were on that show are still bigger names today or wanted to be on that show or whatever. Mm. It's, it's going to be all that. Just, from, you know, Detective Dan and Keenan and Kel with uh, Good Burger and all of that. It was just amazing. Principal oh. Pimpel. Amanda, oh. Amanda, 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 everything Amanda did. <laughs> Pierre Escargo. Pierre Escargo. And the theme song was pretty fire, too. So that being said, CJ, Dex's Laboratory or all of that? <laughs> all of that. Dex <laughs> Oh, wow. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wow. I see what you're doing here. Okay. <laughs> Let's, okay. let's, let's, let's go let's go dexter man let's go okay, okay. So dexter okay let me go nice. let me get my nice let me get CJ. my trivia question lined up because i know where this is going nice cj <laughs> all right so we have dexter <laughs> versus all that uh brandon who do you pick i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go with all that uh i watched that way more than uh dexter and i i do appreciate it more than dexter so all Gonna right, have to so, do it. Come back right. to the good stuff. CJ, do you want to use your wild card for Dex's laboratory? Keep in mind, we have a lot more to go. So, do you want to use your wild card for Dex's lab- laboratory? Really, man, it's early in the game. Yeah, I'm not going to use that card, man. I voted Dexter because I know he was getting knocked out this round. So just wanted to give him his props, man. Like, okay. oh, that was amazing, bro. Okay. Oh, that was awesome, bro. <laughs> okay. Lee uh-huh. set that one up. He set Dexter up to fail. Okay. <laughs> All right, bro, so. I'm it, so mad at Lee. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that we have uh, all that going to the next round. Up next, we have a show I've never heard of, but I've never seen. But when I have seen, Double Dare 2000 versus Chowder. Uh, Brandon, who do you pick? Chowder, dude. Chowder was so silly and colorful, but like it was also like a food show. So like, and I still like just say cruel things from the show like often. So Chowder. All right. So Brandon picks Chowder. CJ, Chowder or the other one I said. Double Dare 2000. 
Double Dare 2000. Double Dare 2000. Okay. I, I, I've heard of Chowder, but I never watched it. Man. Okay. Christina, Double Dare 2000 or Chowder? Good morning, you take son. I love Chowder. I watch oh. it all the time as an, a full, fully recognized adult. <laughs> I love Chowder. Yeah, it's amazing to watch. <laughs> so you, you would enjoy it. Give it a shot. I think I, I, I think I mean, I'm, I'm a foodie, so, so yeah, that, that's yeah, all yeah. Answer. So good. Everybody's named after a food. It's so colorful. The clothing moves. Everything. Snitchel. like All of them. All the characters. I love it. And I. Ceviche. I love everybody. All right. So CJ, do you want to send over there 2000 to the next round? Get out of here. Get out of here. Go watch chowder. They, they don't have the arms to box with God, man. Come on now. Ooh, CJ. I want to cheat and ask if one show made the cut. Can't because... do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm scared, scared man. I'm scared. Oh, you went it's, 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 uh, if it's not on here, I'm going to challenge this whole bracket by the end well, of this episode. Well, here we go. Let's throw it in your face right now. How about this? Christina. Uh, we have the next round. We have Teen Titans versus As Told by Ginger. I feel like this is biased against me. I was a little girl watching these shows, Bruh. but I'm still gonna go strong with Teen Titans. As Told by Ginger was amazing, but so was Teen Titans. As Told okay. by Ginger was a coming of age story about a girl. And it wasn't a stereotypical one, so it's really good. Uh, but Teen Titans just it gave more in a oh. different kind of way. I'm I'm gonna go strong, Teen Titans. CJ, who do you pick? You know it's Teen Titans all the way, man. But uh, Christina, <laughs> that Chris, Christina, I can see the the hurt. I can that see the pain that. coming out. Like, Ooh, of, this is rigged again. Yeah, me. yeah. It's okay. It's all right. All right, so it seems that uh, Teen Titans is advanced, uh, but Brandon, who do you pick if you want to use your wild card for As Told by Ginger or not? I'm not gonna lie, dude, that hurt me too because I really like that show, As Told by Ginger. Like it was, it was actually a decent so like story, story wise, and the art. But Teen Titans, gotta go Teen Teen Titans. Okay, all right. Hopefully the grass is greener on the other side. (laughs) Okay. All right, so this is this next one is an automatic matchup. They advance to the next round because these two shows are very impactful. Uh, so CJ, we start with you, okay? And you, and yeah, you might want to you might want to back up off your mic on this one. I'm sorry, Just letting you know right now because you're about to explode, okay? You're gonna explode on this one. Hey Arnold versus Adventure Time. Who do you pick? Yeah, evil. Yeah, evil. <laughs> Y'all are evil, man. Had to stop myself from cussing right then, man. Um, Arnold for me, man. That's the one that I was most attached to. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Okay, Brandon. Hey, Arnold yeah. or Adventure Time? I mean, I know I'm gonna probably catch a lot of slack for this one, but I do not like Adventure Time. I do not at all. Like, I don't. I hate it. Oh, I can't say hate it because I never really watched it that much, but I don't like it. But Hey Arnold, I watched that like I marathon through it last year. Hey Arnold, dude. Event- Adventure Time, get that. You got to move that up. Christina, who do you pick? Hey Arnold or Adventure Time? Uh, hey Arnold for me. Okay. Man, that's a clean sweep for Hey Arnold. Bring us back to the good yeah. I also yeah. did not watch it that much, so I don't oh, have yeah. much, uh, no attachment hardly at all. Okay. Yeah. And we move on. So, Brandon, up next we have Star Wars Clone Wars versus Samurai Jack. Who do you pick? <laughs> what? Uh... Mm. Man, that's all respects to Samurai Jack, but uh, that's got to be Star Wars Clone Wars. I mean, talk about filling in the gaps to a lot of the story that we want. Like, look, that was the beginning of something like special i mean star wars clone wars okay all right cj who do you pick star wars clone wars or 
Samurai Jack. Clone Wars did so many characters right, man. They did Anakin <laughs> justice. Yeah. They did Mace Windu justice. Bro, oh my, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, it, it got to be Clone Wars for me, bro. All right, yeah, Christine, not that your vote doesn't count, but uh, do you want to do Samurai Jack or Clone Wars? I'm going to go with Samurai Jack because I've never seen a minute of Star Wars in any form. Well, I went to their symphony performance, but <laughs> I've never watched any. That sounds cool. I say tre- tre- tread lightly. Yeah, yeah tread lightly because you want to get a single. I mean, I did say what I said about Adventure Time, so. Okay. So, Christine, do you want to use your, your wild card for Absolutely. Samurai Jack? I'm not going to get slaughtered over here. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> uh, with a vengeance. She's like, no, they I'm good. Orgasmed over here about that. I'm not doing that. She's like, no, I'm good. I want that smoke. All right. So, we <laughs> it seems that Clone Wars advances. Uh, up next, we have regular show versus Angry Beavers. Christina, who do you pick? You. Holy! <laughs> oh, that that was so abrupt. Oh, you have a, a blue jay and a raccoon versus some beavers. I love both of those shows, though, dude. I'm gonna break into hives soon. Come <laughs> It's your pick. No, it's your pick. It's your pick. No, it's your pick. (laughs) It is your pick. You are on the clock right now. Here's a turning. So it's Angry Beavers versus Regular. (gasps) Angry Beavers. Okay. All right. Angry Beavers. CJ, who do you pick? I know what it is, man. I know what it is. Regular it show. Regular show. All right. Which is my favorite show, by the way. My all time show. But anyway, uh, and Martin. But anyway, uh, so Brandon, the choice is yours. Regular show or Angry Beavers? Who do you pick? Uh, but they're so similar in a way. Just- nah. Uh, no, in, in terms of times, in terms of where they are in time, they kind of similar in the way in the way they hit the, in the time. So I'm I'm gonna have to go with the regular show, only okay. because they're for the new generation ish kind of. Okay. All right. You so about that, Christina. <laughs> I had to, I had to mm-hmm. pick. I had to mm-hmm. pick Angry Beavers because I knew it was not gonna win this one. So <laughs> I, I I knew it because I was I love Angry Beavers. I love it, but regular show. I have the the box set. Regular I do too. Like I, <laughs> I do bought, too. <laughs> I bought so much. <laughs> I was singing summertime. Literally yesterday. Summertime, so, yeah. Regular show is insane. It has so many crazy stories to it. So I just had yeah. to let my love for Angry Beaver show because I knew regular show was going to. Regular go show. So. All right. Well, it looks like my favorite show on this list is advancing. I can't be more happy than to hear that. Uh, Brandon, up next, we have Cow and Chicken versus Keenan and Kel. Who do you pick? Oh, see, that's what I was waiting for. Kenan and Kale, dude. Like, come on, let's raise this one to the top. I mean, <laughs> right. I mean, I like Ken, I like Cow and Chicken, but Kenan and Kale. All right, CJ, who do you pick? Yeah, it's about to be a clean sweep right here. Kenan and Kale. Yeah, Kenan and Kale. All right, Christina. Kenan and Kale. All right, looks like Kenan and Kale advances. <laughs> uh, yeah, we know who went in the tournament. <laughs> Let me take some throwbacks right quick. Okay. Oh no. It's some hard hitters on here too. Uh, the, CJ, up next we have the Grand Adventures of Billy and Mandy versus the old school classic Kablam on Nickelodeon. Who do you pick? Okay, the name Kablam sounds familiar, but I forgot the show. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kablam, <laughs> Kablam was a Saturday morning Cartoon Network series that was uh, like it was Nickelodeon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. But it, it, it used to be a bunch of different skits. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, and 
like they had a whole bunch of different mini cartoons that would come on in between. It was like uh, Benny and June or what, what were the names? Something like yeah. that. They were it was, cartoons. Okay. Like, yeah, it was kind of how Dexter was too. Dexter had those mini, like the, the, yeah, the yeah. Min, yeah, the mini cartoons within mm-hmm. it. Okay, okay, gotcha, well, gotcha. Boy. Irrelevant. Billy and Mandy. Okay. <laughs> okay yeah. All right, Brandon. Who do you pick? Kablam or or, Dude, or Billy and Mandy? Like. Okay destroy us all isn't is not is not, <laughs> not an apple it's a magic banana like dude billy and manny dude okay all right so uh christina who do you pick billy and manny or kablam kablam all right do you want to see kablam to the next round or what no nah, i'll let it go because they haters but it's okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. So we have another one. It's gonna kind of cost. Billy and Mandy suck, by the way. Yeah. Just wow. Not a good show. Well, <laughs> well, but the show was just dumb. So. Okay. All right. So up oh, next, wow. uh, Billy and Mandy advances. Up next, we have Ed, Eddie, Eddie, CJ versus Fight the Dragon of oh, the Dragon. Dragon Ball Z. Come this on, man. Got terrible. I ain't even, even got to say it, but, you know, for, you know, purposes of legal, legality purposes, DBZ, sir. Okay. And Christina, who do you pick? I didn't even like Dragon Ball Z, but I got to pick that one. I did. <laughs> who do uh-huh. you pick? Uh-huh. I mean, it's DBZ, dude. That's I mean. so unfair. <laughs> Sorry, it looks like Ed, it looks like Ed and Eddie are planking out of the out of this tournament. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that that really wasn't fair to be honest. That was yeah. not. Don't blame set me. Them, Lee set them up to fail, man. <laughs> Don't blame me. All right, so up next, Brandon, we have Steven Universe versus the Wild Thornberries. Who do you pick? The Wild Thornberries. I did not watch Steven Universe. Okay. All right, Christina. Who do you pick? Wild Wild Thorn- oh, wow. Oh, wow. I did not watch Steven Universe and it's just too much going on. There's too many angry people surrounding that show for me. Okay. So. <laughs> CJ, that's, that's Lee's one of Lee's favorite shows by the way. I, I know, I know, which is I was about to, I was about to say. I just don't know. Right. <laughs> it's like one of Lee's favorite shows. I was, Lee, I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> CJ, I, I, yeah. CJ, what do you have to say, sir? Look, I've heard nothing but incredible stuff about Steven Universe. Even when y'all did that episode. Yes. Th- th- this was early season. Mm-hmm. Early season, man. But like y'all, I, I ain't seen it. Okay. So well, wild thornberries, man. Oh, you know, hot. That's what you get, Leland, for that last. I'm pretty sure that we man, but we gotta get the moves out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh all right, so up next we have uh courage to counter and i'm sorry uh steven universe leaves this tournament uh leave we get his revenge here pretty soon i promise you uh up next we have uh brandon i'm sorry christina courage the cowardly dog versus ah real monsters who do you pick did you have to do that (laughs) i love real monsters i I loved it i loved it like everybody else but Courage still wins. Okay. Strong. All right. And CJ, who do you pick? Courage to Cowardly Dog or Ah uh, Real Monsters? Yeah, it's gonna be Courage again, man. Yeah. I like I really messed with Ah uh, Real Monsters, but once again, between the two, Courage stepped it up on that horror esque, you know, genre. So yeah, man, I'm sticking with them. Okay. And Brandon, it's Courage, man. Curse, okay. he makes it through. Okay. All right. So with that being said, it looks like courage advances. Uh, Chris, well, CJ, this would be your turn now. All right. Uh, CJ, we have Ben Ten versus the Legend of Korra. Oh boy. Oh, I'm so boy. glad you separated Legend of Korra and Man. Yeah, yeah, it's good they did that. Um, yeah, I ain't watched Korra. I ain't watched Korra. And I've heard once again amazing things about it, but uh, yeah, I gotta rock with Ben 10. Okay, let's go. All right, Brandon, who do you pick, Ben 10 or Legend of Korra? Since we're on the subject, I do want to <laughs> say, as a kid, 
I had an idea of having a watch where I could switch to many characters, favorite characters of mine. Mm-hmm. So I really felt like I, as a kid, I should have patented that, that idea because I probably made some money. Um, with that being said, Ben 10, because uh, I really liked it. The other, the later stuff, not no, not so much, but still Ben 10. Got to push that one through. Okay. All right, Christina, uh, the choice is yours. Ben 10 or Legend of Korra? I'll go with Korra. Oh. Did not really watch Ben 10. Uh, and because I didn't pick Avatar last time, this is kind of how I'll tied it over. Okay, didn't care so- for Ben 10 at all. It was too easy. It, was, it looked it- fun. Did you want to use uh did you want to <laughs> use your wild card to save Cora? I do not. Okay. Well it looks like being numbered uh those 10. Is that 10 in Spanish? Is my bad, sorry. Uh Ben 10 advances. <laughs> Shows you how bad my Spanish is. Uh all right. So Christina, up next we have Powerpuff Girls versus Codename Kids Next Door. Codename Kids Next Door. All right, Brandon, who do you pick? Codename Kids Next Door or Powerpuff Girls? Dude, they came to us with that battle ready armor. Like, and the storylines and the, the just relationships, like everything. Codename Kid ne- Next Door hits so much, they got my vote. Okay. CJ, do you want to say the Powerpuff Girls? Or do you want to send code name kids next door to mix them around? And I'm gonna vote for Powerpuff Girls, but I can't fake man. Code name kids next door. That show went hard. Yeah, that show was amazing. That was like the evolution. That was like the evolution of Powerpuff Girls, but it had like a way cooler concept. Like, like you can age better with with Code Name Kids Next Door. So, yeah, but I still voted. For Powerpuff Girls, and I'm not going to use my card. We're just going to let them wither away. Okay. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, it looks like Powerpuff Girls mm-hmm. goes away. Uh, up next, CJ. Uh, I told you that Lee would come back and get his revenge for y'all, and he did with this next one. Because up next, we have Johnny Bravo versus Rocket Power. Who do you pick? Rocket Power, man. Like... Bro, Johnny Bravo don't age well, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, man, you know, man, if you get my drift, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with that rocket power, man. Yeah. Okay. All right, Christina, who do you? <laughs> I think I should just probably just skip this whole thing, but Christina, it's definitely rocket power. All I right, do, just... I can still laugh at Johnny Bravo. <laughs> But no. Rocket Power was my that was part of my week right there. I waited for Rocket Power to come out. They were so cool. They were the coolest kids on TV for a strong. They still are, honestly. They, they, they skateboarders, they, surfers, single dad, random ass keto. Like it was just cool. It was just cool. They're still cool kids, man. Brandon, uh, pick. I, I would tread lightly on this one, sir. Uh, Rocket Power, <laughs> Johnny Bravo. Think about Reggie. Why hasn't Why hasn't Johnny Bravo got canceled yet? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, it's, it's canceled already. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on anymore. You know what also is? Is he was a little bit? I yeah. think that made a lot of people kind of blow it off. Yeah, like, but I'm gonna go with Rocket Power. Okay. All right. So we're not gonna spend so much time on that one. So Rocket Power events. All right. Uh, up next, uh, Brandon. We have Space Coast Coast to Coast versus. A guy that lives under the sea, SpongeBob SquarePants. Who do you pick? I'm I'm definitely gonna go with Space Ghost on this one. Like I don't really do I do the more I grew up, I hated SpongeBob. I still hate SpongeBob. Like I just I just and I keep that H word. Yeah. I, I the more I grew up, I can't stand I hate SpongeBob, so Space Ghost. Okay. CJ, who do you pick? SpongeBob or Space Ghost Coast to Coast? Yeah, I'm with Brandon, man. That's Space Ghost. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, look, and I'm well aware that 
you know, SpongeBob is one of the starting five, but no, not not today. Get him out of here, Christina. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, so do you pick SpongeBob or a Space Ghost? I agree with them. I'm going strong with Space Ghost. I love SpongeBob. I can watch it to this day. It is stupid. But, but my adult brain just has to go with Space Ghost. It was just on a different intellectual level for me, even though it was also ridiculous. All right. With that being said, <laughs> it seems that the annoying character, the just as annoying as Kali Yu, uh, goes away with SpongeBob and Space Ghost coast to coast uh, goes away. So finishing this round, Christina, we come up to the amazing world of Gumball versus... This guy who was in love with Patty Mayonnaise, Doug, who do you pick? I'm going to go with Doug, even though watching it now, I was like, this is a dumb show. (laughs) 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 Going back to it, it it is pretty lame. But because, because it took me being an adult to see it that way, it still gets to be special to me. I love Doug. The characters were kind of like the first time you got a variety. They just colored them differently. But that was the first kind of like real peak for me. And to mm. like, oh, this is supposed to be a whatever character. Quail Man, you know, his character, his imaginations were ridiculous. Just The Beats? Doug. Doug, yeah. The Beats, I need more allowance. I would buy that right now if that came out as an album. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it looks like Doug gets the nod for Christina. Brandon, who do you pick, Doug or The Amazing World of Gumball? I really wish I watched more of The Amazing World of Gumball because I've heard all of those other ones, Adventure Time and that uh, Steven Universe. I heard a lot of good things about this one. I just don't haven't watched it, so I'm going to have to go with Doug. All right, so CJ, see that Doug goes to the next round unless you want to choose Amazing Gun- World of Gumball. Who do you pick? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Come on. All right, so with that being said, we finished another round. We're going to pick it up right now. Let's go ahead and start this next round, then we'll go to a quick break. But before that, CJ, uh, we have starting this next round, we have All That versus Chowder. Who do you pick? Come on, man. All Come right. On, man. Christina, who do you pick? All that or chowder? I'm going to go with chowder. Oh, wow. Brandon. I'm going to go with chowder. Up Still to you now. Yeah, no, you I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with chowder on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. CJ, uh, choice is yours now. Do you want to send all that to the next round or do you want to let chowder go advance? Wow. Okay, all right. All right. Try, try. You know what? All that we'll, we'll, we'll let it, we'll let it go. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll let it. Yeah, we're gonna let it go. Oh, we're wow. gonna let it go. I wrote down too fast. Wow. Have you not seen the timing? Have you not seen the bracket, Calvin? Uh, I've seen it. Left on the board. There's a lot left on the board, man. Yeah. This is a yeah. necessary sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. So okay. It's like okay. A <laughs> With that being said, CJ, or my bad, Christina, yeah. uh, we have Teen Titans versus Hey Arnold. Who do you pick? Teen Titans. CJ, who do you pick? Teen Titans, get them out of there. Come on. All right, Brandon, do you want to save uh, Hey Arnold or no? I mean... Uh... Is yeah, it's Teen Titans. He's not gonna win. I, I'm not gonna do a wild card, wild card on that one. Hey, Arnold. I mean, uh, Teen Titans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Brandon. So we start with you right now. We have Clone World, Clone Wars versus regular show. Who do you pick? Gonna go with Clone Wars on this one. All right, Christina. Who do you pick? Regular show. Ooh, CJ. The choice is yours now. Clone Wars versus regular show. Who gets your nod? Clone Wars. Oh, wow. Christina, do you want to use your wild card for this? No. All right. Sadly, my favorite show is... They always expose themselves. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. It seems that Clone Wars gets the win. And regular shows out of there. All right. So starting with Brandon, uh, 
we got when I said after CJ, sorry. Start with CJ. We have Keenan and Kel versus Billy and Mandy. Who do you pick? Two duos. Keenan and Kel, man. All right. Brandon, Keenan and Kel, Billy and Mandy. Keenan and Kel, dude. It's right. a better show. All right, Christina. Keenan and Kel for me. All right. Just moved on, man. Y'all are really kicking this one, right? Rooms out, man. That was easy, though. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't like Billy Rooms and Mandy. Out. All right. Well, this might be another one easy for you, Christina. Dragon Ball Z versus the Wild Thornberries. I'm going to still go with Wild Thornberries. All right, CJ. Dragon Ball Z or the Wild Thornberries? Who do you pick? Yeah, yeah, I expected that. Come on, you know it's DBZ. All right, you Brandon. You know Thornberries going to get up out of here. <laughs> and Brandon. <Y'all> uncultured. <laughs> and Brandon, <laughs> you can take us yes. to break or with this next pick. Who do you pick? It's a split decision. Wild Thornberries or Dragon Ball Z? Just say. Then I had to go with the Wild Thornberries. Ooh, wow. CJ, they picked Wild Thornberries over Dragon Ball Z. If you're watching on Facebook right now or you're listening right now, they voted. But I, I have my I have my reasons, man. I was supposed to bring this ticket. The brain. Wow. You know what? I was like, there was a motive there. I was like, no. I don't. I don't know. I'm just. Yeah. I'm my this, decision. Yeah, this, 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 this one of the games coming into play. This mm-hmm. one of the games coming into play. Mm-hmm. I was like that. That villain brain started working. CJ, we're on the clock. Which one do you pick? Okay. All right. I'm a only. I'm a pick Dragon Ball, okay, but I'm not. I'm not gonna use my card because mm-hmm. technic because it's an anime and technic technically it's on net- you it's know, the network. That falls in a different category, so you know it is. It is, but I, all right, DBZ, I I get it out of here. All right, so with that being said, Dragon Ball Z is out of here. Uh, they have they voted, y'all. You can't get mad at me. They voted. All right, so with that being said, we're going to finish the rest of this round on the other <laughs> side of the break. This is the Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon shows on the other side of the break. So make sure you stay tuned to Straight Up Show Podcast. In the two years that Straight Up has been a podcast, we've gone to where most podcasts have never gone before. From multiple celebrity guests to groundbreaking episodes, Straight Up is changing the podcast game. And now that season six is finally here, we plan to continue leveling up with our exclusive season six merchandise. That's right. Grab your 80s retro inspired merch today. Just visit our website at straightupshowpodcast.com. That's S-T-R, the number eight, upshowpodcast.com. Shirts as low as $19.99. Sometimes loading from Southside 62 out right now. Make sure you tune in to the Straight Up Show podcast because that's where it's happening. You dig? All right, welcome back to the Straight Up Show podcast. Today we are doing Nickelodeon versus Cartoon Network. And if y'all been listening, I am shocked because I had my picks, Dragon Ball Z, and I had regular show, but they are both been eliminated. CJ's here. This is Lee's Bracket. Christina's being mellow and calm, and Brandon's already starting some mel- some drama already by kicking <laughs> DBZ out, which is so you see all your hate you mails to Brandon going. because Brandon definitely uh, you knew what you were doing. Wow, jeez. Anyway, you're, so you're this despic- is despicable. Man. This is finally coming to the despicable. end, uh, and so we have some amazing picks left. We're at this one round. We start stopped in this last round with Dragon Ball Z getting eliminated, so we're gonna pick it back up with our guest today, CJ. CJ, you ready to continue? Yeah, let's yeah, let's get it rocking. Okay, here we go. Up next, we have Ben Ten versus Courage, the Cowardly Dog. Who do you pick? Damn. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> oh, oh man. All right. Um, Courage. I'll go Courage. All right, Brandon. Courage to Cowardly Dog or Ben 10? I'm going to have to go with Courage because it never loses its appeal. appeal. And can't say the same for Ben. 
I already know what you're going to pick, Christina, already, but... Yep, I'm, I'm not even going to answer. Just keep on going. Bye, Ben. All man. right, so with that being said... Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. She went up and bye with her ass, too, man. <laughs> So courage is out of there. So with that being yep. said, uh, the courage is in there. It goes to the next round. With that being said, we have Rocket Power, CJ, ver- or actually, sorry, Christina, Rocket Power versus Code Name Kids Next Door. Who do you pick? Some cool kids, by the way. Uh, code Name. Code Name. I'd had to say, pull the Band-Aid off. Code Brandon, name. Brandon, who do you pick? Code name kids next door or Rocket Dude, Power? I mean, it's it's it sucks, but yeah. code name kid kids next door for this one. Ooh, CJ, who do you pick? See, the crazy part is I mountain bike, so <laughs> naturally I would gravitate to the export show, but no, I, I no, I got to give it to. Ah, kids next door, man. I was not expecting the qu- a clean sweep on Kids Next Door. Yeah, I can yeah. make my own. That's so dope, shot. man. I That's can make dope, the stuff they used. They had a black leader, bro. Oh wow! <sighs> it, on, was intense, it was an intense series, like. Yeah, a lot went, and I mean, they had bikes and all types of stuff in there in action. So it's they, they did, they did. It's it's a package. All right. I wouldn't have well, been friends with anybody in Rocket Power. I wasn't cool enough, so forget them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ending this round right on now. The street, not in their cold to say. <laughs> okay, so in this round, in the Sweet 16 round right now, uh, we have Space Ghost Coast to Coast, Brandon, or Doug? Who do you pick? I'm going to have to go with Doug on this one. Okay. Yeah. Christina? Space Ghost. Ooh, CJ, you have the tiebreaker. Who do you pick? Power in my hands. Christina over here and Brandon over here. And I'm going to drop Christina. It is Doug all the way, man. Ooh, wow. Disney version and the Nick version. Okay. Christina. Yeah. Yeah. Got some decisions to make now. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. It's fine. Oh, no, so, it, see, it wasn't, see, it wasn't that important to you. See, <laughs> you, love it. you didn't want it. Never said it was. Never said it was. Yeah. My girl said noted. Noted. That's that's yeah. usually a scary sign, CJ. So. That it. That usually is. That's the <laughs> so with that being <laughs> said, space ghost is out the race. It looks like Doug advances. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our elite eight going on right now. Sorry, but yep, our elite eight. So y'all ready for this? That being Not said, ready, but... Christina, you start us off. We have Chowderhead or Chowder versus T Titans. Who do you pick? Why do I feel like this is always stacked against me? <laughs> That's Lee's you, magic. You always started with me. So I got words for you after this. Chowder <laughs> versus Teen Titans. I'm going to have to go with Teen Titans. Okay. Shut CJ. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, who do you pick? Was Chowder was Chowder the one that took all that out? <laughs> I don't know. Chowder did take all that out, correct? <laughs> oh, Chowder, what well, you know what time it out? is? <laughs> you know what time it is, baby. Come on, oh, Teen <laughs> man. Look, I mean, Teen Titans was going win this regardless, but it just makes it sweeter since you know they was the mm. one that booted all that out. But okay, yeah. Bro, all, right. all that versus Team Titans, that would have been rough. Mm-hmm. So, Brandon, what do you pick, Chowder or Team Titans? You did this to yourself. I hope you know. I'm actually, I'm actually not, not too, I'm actually not too worried about it. So, who are we pick? I'm, 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 I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Team Titans. I'm, I'm gonna right. go with Team Titans. So, Team Titan advances to the final four. All right. All right, so Brandon, we come up with you the Clone Wars versus Keenan and Kel. It's Keenan and Kel. Christina, who do you pick? Keenan and Kel. It's a clean sweep, right, CJ? Or no? Do you want Clone it's Wars? It's Anakin, baby. It's Anakin, baby. No, it's Keenan and Kel. Come on, no. <laughs> let's not do this. All let's right, Keenan and Kel goes to the final four. All right, so with that being said, CJ, 
We have the Wild Thornberries versus Courage the Cowardly Dog. Who do you pick? Do I even need to say? Do I even need to say? That's what I'm asking. They took out DBZ. They took out DBZ, sir. Do I even need to say? Come on now. Come Wild Thornberries? <laughs> you said courage? Courage. Courage. Okay. Christina, is it still courage? It's courage. All right, Brandon, what do you pick? Yeah, no, we're going we're going with courage. All right. So courage advances up next. Brandon, we have code name kids next door versus Doug. Who do you pick? Code name, dude. All right, code CJ. Who do you pick? Oh yeah, that's code name. Yeah. Oh wow, Christina. Do you yeah. want to save Doug or no? Code name. All right, clean sweep. All right. So with that being said, we have our final four pick. <clears throat> so here's the hard part. We have our final four games, Nickelodeon versus Cartoon Network. We have three Cartoon Network shows versus one Nickelodeon show. So here we are. Are we ready for this? Can y'all y'all ready for the final four? Oh, here yeah. we go. Brandon, we have Codename Kids Next Door versus Courage, the Cowardly Dog. Who do you pick? I'm going to go with... Wait, who? it was Courage and who? Codename Kids <laughs> Next Door. <laughs> All right. Codename Kids Next Door. Christina, mm-hmm. Codename Kids Next Door versus Courage, the Cowardly Dog. Who do you pick? I gotta consider some stuff first. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta consider storyline versus entertainment versus longevity. Yeah, I was like, there's a lot of lot to consider. Yeah. <sighs> versus courage. I'm going. Oh, name. <laughs> All yeah, right, CJ, do you oh. want to use your wild card to send courage to the next round? Or do you want to make it a clean sweep and have <laughs> code name kids next door? That was not Let's get the brooms out, man. Let's get the brooms out. Sweet code name. Code name code kids look, next door. Look, here, here, here's the thing, man. I think <laughs> Courage was the longer show of the two, right? But what Code Name was able to do with that short amount of time, bro, it was something magical. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Code Name Kids Next Door goes to the finals. I did not expect that at all. Uh we have a, we have the last pick of the final four. CJ, King and Nikel versus Teen Titans. Who do you pick? Mufasa, I'm going to need your help on this one, man. <laughs> I'm going to need your help on this one. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Could, 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 could you save the, uh, the contestants again, sir? <sighs> Teen oh, Titans man. versus King and Nikel. Why I got to do this first? <laughs> Oh my god, this is hard. This is really hard. Oh no. Oh my. I already got my hands. Keenan the Kill, man. Keenan the Kill. All right. So Keenan and Kill gets the nod. Brandon, who do you pick? Teen Titans or Keenan and Kill? Keenan and Kill, dude. All right. So here we go. Christina. Teen Titans. Do you want to use your wild card? To send Teen Titans to the finals. Sure. Christina has chosen to use her wild card to automatically send Teen Titans to the finals. Yeah. Brandon or CJ, do you challenge this? 
I would. So you challenge Christine? I don't, I don't want to challenge her to <laughs> a game. Matter of fact, no. We're gonna we're gonna challenge it. Let's challenge. It. All right, here we go. Ladies first, Christina. Brandon is officially challenging. I have a question, Yo, wow. sir. Okay. I have a question. If I were to use my card as well, would that automatically veto Christina's one card? <laughs> <laughs> but that would also set Brandon up for an automatic win. Yeah, no, so it's one whoever issues it out first. So if Brandon's issuing it out, it doesn't automatically go for it. So uh, it's the luck of the draw. So it just depends. So if you want to all three throw your wild card out there, you can do that if you want to, but it's not veto another one. So uh, are you choosing that? Are you choosing to throw yours out there as well? I mean, if it has no advantage, what's the, what's the point, right? Okay, here we go then. All right. So this is a first in straight up history. We have this. <laughs> we have Christina's uh, pick of... Uh, Keenan and Kel. No, wait. No, Teen Titans. Titans. And then we have Brandon's Teen pick Titans. of Keenan and Kel. Ladies go first. And how this usually goes, I usually pick the first person who picks the higher number to answer first, okay? And CJ, this is how it goes to pass, okay? If neither of them can get this answer right, and you still choose to use your wild card, you can use it to, to for this, okay? And I, and because we're all next to computers and cell phones, when they answer this, they have to be off. They have to hold their hands up to make sure they're not Googling the answers. So with that being said, do we understand the rules? Okay. Yeah. All right. So how this works is that I'm going to pick a number. I'm going to choose 1 in 25. Brandon, you pick this time. 1 in 24. Okay. Christina? Three. <laughs> well, how do you always go so low? <laughs> number. I only got like three though. He's called. <laughs> it was actually 15. No, she, you already said three. Okay. It's 15. All right. All right. Cool. It's 15. So, Brandon, get your hands up. So, Brandon picked 15. So, Brandon has to answer this, okay? And since this is involved in one of the shows that's debating, okay? Brandon, on the show, Keenan and Kel, in one of the most dramatic episodes of all time. Keenan moves away, and you would think that's the end of the show. Where did Keenan's dad get a job at? He was going to be a park ranger, but what state were they moving to on the show? He's going to be a park ranger. A park ranger, right? Yes. He was moving so to it, a different state. So it has to be like a a... a a place where there's like a national park, right? Could be. Just give me a state. Louisiana. Christina. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Christina. So once again, the question is, and Brandon got the answer wrong. CJ, it's not looking good for you at all. Brandon got the question wrong. So oh, so CJ, I, was, I forgot I was trying to win for you too. <laughs> dramatic. On the most dramatic episode of Keenan and Kel, Kel and Keenan thought their friendship was over when Keenan's dad gets a job as a park ranger in what state? CJ, show me your hands. You know, as uh, us all being black folks, you're, you're telling us to show our hands and have our hands up. You know, it's, it's making me feel kind of uncomfortable. Just saying. Reaching a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, the an answer from me. It's yes. like in my head. It's there, but I can't. Because there's a map. I'm going to say. Kill the Keenan. Keenan to kill. Kill the Keenan. Oh, oh wait, are you giving? Are you giving? Are you? Are you? Are you helping her? He, he, he just no, he just bringing back those painful memories, man. That was That's a painful all. episode, man. Uh, that was that was painful. That episode hurt, know. man. That, Minnesota. That I don't know. Christina, she is that your Minnesota. final answer? Yeah. What was your What was your state again? Say it loud. Minnesota. Christina, is that your final answer? That is my final answer. CJ Brandon. 
I gotta say that Christina's answer was wrong. If you would have said Minnesota I and mean, at Montana, you would have been right. I didn't think of it. I was like, I can't hear Montana. it. Montana. Like, yes, sir. So it CJ, they Minnesota. both got the answer wrong. I was, Do you? I was thinking, I was thinking Colorado, man. It's Montana. Uh, I thought Puma. Colorado at first. It was Puma, was like, Montana. No, it's an M, and I was like, mm. and my brain was like Milwaukee. I was like, no. With that being said, it seems that Brandon and Christina got the answers wrong. CJ, do you yeah. want to use this opportunity to send Keenan and Kel to the finals? So I have the power to send Keenan and Kel or let Teen Titans, which is a Titan, mm-hmm. to the finals. Well, you've already picked Keenan uh, and Kel, so it's up to you. I, she's I, got, all the, I, I got all the power. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't Keenan and Kel. Come on, man. You, you know what we're doing. All right. Well, in a dramatic fashion, Keenan and Kel, yeah. Kel to Keenan, it seems that they are going to the finals. Wow. Ladies and exactly. gentlemen. This was also a loaded win because I don't care about Keenan and Kel nearly as much as I care about Teen Titans. That was the goal. I was like, oh, you know how hard that was to figure it out? I was like, I don't think I ever even saw that episode. Well, we forgot. we just made this finals a epic one because now these three do not have their final. Well, they do not have their wild card anymore. But this tournament is about the best shows on Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, and we have just that for our finals, ladies and gentlemen. Do you are you all ready for the finals? <laughs> all right. With that being said, I think silence means yes. Means uh-huh. C for silent. So. Uh, uh, S-I, see, so yes. So with that being said, here we go. CJ, you are our guest today. Uh, we have the final set. Here we go. Who had the better show? Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Keenan and Kel versus Codename Kids Next Door. Please select one. I love how it did end with a Cartoon Network show and a Nick show. That is dope. Mm-hmm. That is dope. That's what happens when you vote. I got to go Keenan and Kel, man. Okay. I got it. All right. With that being said, Christina, who do you pick? Go name. All right. Actually, and here it is. Who do we pick? Brandon, this whole tournament is in your hands. You have the power. Who do you pick? Codename Kids Next Door or Keenan and Kel? Kel to Keenan. Keenan and Kel. Choice is yours. Well, I'm going to go with Codename Kids Next Door only because of the diversity in the show all of the story building in the show all of the like relationships like so much went into that show and just the base of what the show is all about love keenan and kale want to use keenan and kale to like move a lot of people out the way but gotta go with a code name keenan and kale i love it but that's on, I just that's on you buddy that's I on just you. Don't, yeah. No, Akina Kale was is great. That's on you, bud. I love it. Best jokes, orange soda, soda, all of it. But talking about the best show here, going with Code Name. Code Name is better than Keenan and Kale. Team Titans. Think... Golly. You know what? Since that happened, I am gonna throw my official. Hey, I... I'm gonna make this a little bit more juicier. No, I'm just kidding. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, codename Kids Next Door is the winner. I had the better right mind to give CJ his wild card back. <laughs> Should. Should I? I mean, I mean, bro. He like, didn't officially. How could I, I didn't use it. I didn't, use it. <laughs> I didn't think he did. Yeah, so with that being said, CJ, Brandon, uh, CJ, CJ, and Christina are vouching for CJ to use his wild card. CJ, do you want to use it right now? Use that card. All right, we have it. They have voted for him to use it. And with that being said, CJ has invoked his wild card. That means that Kenny Kel wins this tournament. 
as the number one show from Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. CJ, raise your head high and bask in your glory that you have made Keenan and Kel win this. Hold Brandon. on, I'm a slow Brandon for it. You're welcome. You know what, man? I got look. I gotta admit though, I wasn't expecting to pick a Nick show. Like. Like everything went out the window when the live action shows got introduced. I thought mm-hmm. this was gonna be all cartoons, and I thought Cartoon Network had this for sure. But man, yeah, ain't right. That was still Teen Titans, though. I just y'all just yeah, ain't right. No Teen Titans is up there, man. Teen, Teen Titans is that, still hands down. That was, that was such a hard decision. It was so hard. I I only gave it. Keenan and Kel, just because I like, bro, like the longevity of that. Because like with with with, with Teen Titans, bro. Wait, wait a minute. 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 I got an issue. I got an issue. I got an issue. How come Young Justice did not make this tournament? I make the rules, man. Chalk Zone didn't make young, this tournament either. How come young, wait, no, young no. Justice did not make this tournament? I mean. <laughs> Yeah, we had we had last set bender avatar and Cora, so I mean I get it, but uh, like made it, man. like like she like Christina said, Chalk Zone didn't either, and I watched Chalk it. Zone didn't make the cut. What? Chalk Zone. <laughs> He's like mm-hmm. what? Yeah. Chalk root has got the chalk. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I those are your honorable. Uh, we can say the honorable mentions with Chalk Zone well, and Young Camp Justice. Can't follow Can't follow Can I ask you a question though? How far do you think they would have made it in the tournament, though? Camp you... Anawana? They would have made it to the end because I would have held out my <laughs> my veto the whole time. And I'd have been like, chalk zone. Because they had a song. Every episode was cool. It was all yo, just drama. Yo, they wait had... a minute. Speaking of song, why didn't Class of 3000 make this, make this cut? <laughs> it well, I'll tell you who did make the cut. Though. It was Keenan and Kel. And Keenan and Kel won the tournament. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that there's some we missed y'all, but tell us who we missed. Who did you want us to put? What's your favorite Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network show? Let us know. And maybe, Hey, be tuned, tune in because we're going to have a WB kids and a Fox kids Saturday morning (laughs) tournament. So So (laughs) it's not just static shock, static shock. Nobody watched WB. Freakazoid. Animaniacs, Yu Gi Oh, Jackie Chan. Man, I miss, I miss I the freaking man. Come Yu-Gi-Oh. on, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan Adventures. The Talisman. Static Shock. Pokemon. Oh, come on, yeah. it, Pokemon. And, and, y'all, and, y'all, and you call yourself culture. Come Pokemon? on, Pokemon. Come on. Where did you first see Pokemon? I also didn't watch Pokemon growing up, but that was just because I just didn't pay attention to it. Wow. Well, were, I was a were, reader. Were you? Were, were you a Digimon I was girl? A reader. I was a book person growing up. I was a book kid. Wow. So no Digimon either? I did watch Digimon at first. But I found this I found this before we wrap up, I found this very interesting that CJ was called out by Christina, and it was Christina who vouched for him to get use his wild card to where I wasn't gonna use it and give Brandon a dub. But Christina at the end of the day, she vouched for him and voted for CJ to keep his wild card to send Keenan and Kel as the winners of this tournament. That was pretty epic, man. Wow. The Aries can't work together. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, no, this 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 was rigged. <laughs> <laughs> it was rigged more than once, but ladies and gentlemen. Me a lot. Yeah. All of my yeah. shows were just doomed to not make it. <laughs> yeah, because because Rocco's was supposed to be in this. You put as told by Ginger against something like ridiculous. Hey. It's like you reading. know they're not gonna vote for as told by Ginger. I would have voted if I, if I could. If, if I could vote, I would have voted for "As Told by Ginger." I would have. I used to love that show. Stop those lies, Cal. Stop. Those I lies. did. Come on now. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our show. We want you to join the conversation on social, our social media platforms. Hey, go to our website. It's, it's a brand new website, brand new redesign. We re, we did it. It looks very nice. Shout out to KY Unlimited for doing our redesign on our website. There, you can listen to old podcasts old tournament podcast episodes. Uh, you can also get our merchandise out. We have brand new season six merchandise out right now. 
it looks nice. I think you'll like it because we are changing the podcast game right now. Uh, also, join our Patreon page, support us, and check out our other stuff that Brandon has going on. You have the straight up extras featuring Brandon and Christina, and my documentary, including about Post Street Port Chronicles, available exclusively on uh, our Patreon page. Uh, page is patreon.com forward slash straight up show podcast 318. That's patreon.com forward slash straight up show podcast 318 our website as well is straight up show podcast.com that's str the number eight up show podcast.com find us join the conversation until then there's only one rule to our show you gotta be straight up straight up and christina just See, it look, look it, it's okay because, you know, the, the aura of the beat is still seeping within them. So it's okay. I understand your delayed response. It's okay. I will carry I that, it the same th- that time excitement as you. for you. Okay. I said it at the same time as you. See, we'll see, right. we'll you see y'all next time, y'all. Right, <laughs> right, y'all. y'all have a All good right. night. Y'all take care.